Good day everybody and welcome back for another video. In the today's video we're going to have fun. This is more designed for kids actually or those who like uh, fox hunting. But uh, just because Easter is close uh, I decided to transform the fox hunting into egg hunting. <laughs> and we have here um, a simple um, RF uh, pulse oscillator um, which acts as a radio beacon. The circuit was designed by VK3, um, Echo Alpha Charlie. Yeah, it's a very simple circuit. Um, I think the original schematic was designed for the uh, 27 megahertz. Um, my version is for the 80 meters band, uh, just because my crystal um, it's on uh, 3.5795 megahertz. Uh, perfect for fox hunting, but uh, we're going to do eggs hunting. Anyway, uh, it's just a handful of parts and uh, I have an antenna here, a telescopic antenna that I'm going to use. But uh, without wasting any time, let me just put it together really quick and then we're going to talk a little bit more about the circuit and how you can also modify it for pretty much uh, any other frequency that you want, HF or VHF. Well, first I wanted to create the, <laughs> uh, the space for the battery. I can fit a 1.5 volt uh, battery in here. And I have the minus connected to the ground. And the plus rail, it's uh, this little space in here uh, that will continue in here. Only that I'm, I want to add a switch, so I want it to separate uh, the the two pads and the 1.5 battery fits perfectly in here. Now we can continue uh, soldering the rest. Alright, so we got it to work. It sounds really nice. I like it. <laughs> so basically we have the on and off switch. We have the telescopic antenna, but you can also use a wire. Um, in here also I left uh, a little screw because uh, if I want a little bit more range, I'm just going to add the counterpoints that is the same length of the antenna. Uh, of course, it's not calculated for the 3.5 megahertz, but uh, it does the job for, for what I need it to. <laughs> to do. Uh, in here we have the 220 uh, kilo ohms resistor, here it's 4.7 kilo ohms resistor, 3.3 microfarads capacitor, the 2N3904 um, transistor, 3.5 megahertz uh, crystal, uh, 10 microhenries inductor, this one it's a variable trimmer from uh, 10 to 80 picofarads and in here I have 330 picofarads. Now, in order to uh, change it for different bands, let me just go really quick in the schematic. So if you want to change it for different bands, uh, first you have to pick the, the crystal for your desired frequency. I don't know, I'm just going to give an example now, uh, 7030. Uh, imagine that this capacitor is not here and it's actually here in parallel with the inductor. You're going to have to calculate the resonant frequency of the LC circuit uh, using an online calculator. I think I have one of the videos uh, showing you how I'm actually calculating the coils. But just because I'm using uh, these uh, pre-made <laughs> inductors, I'm going to assume that this inductor is 10 um, 10 microhenries and then I'm just going to calculate the value of the capacitor. The frequency that you have here in this LC circuit, it has to be just below uh, a little bit, not too much, <laughs> uh, below the frequency of the crystal. So if you have the crystal on 7030, let's say the value, uh, the frequency, the resonant frequency of the LC circuit should be somewhere maybe 7020 or 7025 for example and that will make the the circuit oscillate uh, to find the uh, after you calculated this uh, depending on the antenna length 
uh, and even if you're using a ground counterpoise or not um, it might influence the whole thing so the value that you calculate it might not be uh, quite uh, exact but knowing that uh, um, you have a value to start with um, the easiest way for me is before I'm actually connecting this fixed capacitor over here I'm connecting a, a big variable capacitor let me show you I have this one over here so I'm calculating uh, this one it has uh, 550 picofarads so I'm using that one connect it over here and then I play with it until I, uh, I find the, um, the oscillator is pulsing uh, the way I like it. Then I remove it, I measure the value and then I um, um, add a trimmer capacitor in here and um, a fixed capacitor over here. The trimmer will just allow me to make little adjustments. So yeah, it's, it's pretty nice. It doubles uh, as a radio beacon, um, as fox hunting beacon, uh, if you don't want to use um, the traditional one that's uh, actually uh, transmitting a Morse code. And uh, yeah, it's really easy to make. <laughs> it might be a good uh, for radio clubs uh, if you just want to use it for practice sessions of uh, fox hunting. So yeah, anyway. I'm gonna let you listen to it a little bit more and uh, I guess I'll see you next week for another video. Until then, thank you for watching and 73.